Today, you're going to see how precious metals are extracted from catalytic converters. Let's start. Cars intended for scrapping are full of treasures that can be recycled and reused. This isn't just about the parts that are still working, like an engine or a gearbox, but it's mostly about precious metals from the catalytic converter. These include valuable natural resources, platinum, palladium and rhodium. On average, a catalytic converter is worth approximately PLN 1000, but there are certain models with an estimated value of even PLN 20,000. The price depends on the content of precious metals in the converter's core. In order to see how recycling of these valuable natural resources looks like, we visited Unimetal Recycling, a leading company in the European market. Over the last month, in January 2021, Unimetal Recycling received more than 75,000 catalytic converters. This means that we collected 3,500 catalytic converters each day. We have 91 partner points in Poland and 29 representative offices worldwide. These include both stationary and mobile points that provide us with catalysts in the amounts loaded on trucks. A catalytic converter consists of a metal casing, a ceramic core and coating which protects the core against damage. The core has a honeycomb structure. All channels are evenly sprayed with mentioned metals from the platinum group which reduce the content of harmful substances while reacting with exhaust fumes from the engine. Upon arrival at the plant, the converters are weighed on two scales to ensure that the measurement is correct. The waste transfer note is filled in. The final price can be prepared after determining the value of each item in the delivery. Information about catalyst prices can be found in the company's application, Cat Catalog, which currently includes over 9,000 records with photographs of models. Collection points and vehicle dismantling facilities that cooperate with the company can also use the application in their everyday work. It makes it possible for them to stay up to date with the information about the prices of used catalytic converters and develop their business. The catalyst number is selected from the application, which shows its current value. The value is based on current foreign exchange rates and prices of precious metals, including platinum, palladium and rhodium on world markets. The actual content of precious metals in a specific model is determined on the basis of a chemical analysis conducted with the use of an ICP MS spectrometer at the company's laboratory. Another way to see the value of delivered catalyst is to do laboratory analysis. It is also possible to deliver only the cores cut out from the catalyst converter to the plant. Let's see what's going on with the catalytic converters next. Upon unloading, they are transferred to the cutting station, where their individual elements are being separated using hydraulic cutters. The ceramic monolith is placed into barrels that are then tightly sealed. Elements of the casing are put into specially designed containers. They will be handed over to companies purchasing scrap metal and ultimately they will be utilized in the steelworks. At the plant, the barrels with ceramics are transported to a ball mill. The monolith is crushed, ground, milled and homogenized there. A representative sample is taken from such material. The material's humidity is verified first at the laboratory. Then the sample is averaged. After grinding, we obtain a homogeneous, homogenized material from which samples for measurements are separated. The content of elements is determined with the use of an X-ray fluorescent spectrometer. The percentage share of platinum, palladium and rhodium in the sample is determined and the content of metals in the entire batch is calculated on the basis of that outcome. The ground ceramics will ultimately be delivered to specialist mills where valuable natural resources will be extracted. 90% of those will be reused to spray catalytic converters 
and the remaining 10% will go to other industries, like the medical industry and the jewellery industry.